Okay, next we're going to talk about the product rule, which is probably more of uh, one of the more difficult rules to discuss because it's not as straightforward as what we've seen so far. Um, in this case, basically what the product rule tells you is we can take the derivative of two functions multiplied by each other. So we use blue for f of x and red for g of x. That what you do is you actually take the derivative of the first times the second, and then you add the first times the derivative of the second, okay? So I think it, it does seem confusing at first, and the best way to show why this is true is to take an example. So let's, to keep it simple, we'll, we'll use polynomials. So let's just say we're trying to take the derivative of something like uh, x minus one times x squared plus two x. Okay, so there's, there's two ways we can solve this. So the first way, what we're gonna do over here, I'm just going to uh, use algebra and the power rule, basically. And then over here, I'm going to use the product rule, plus power rule. Okay. So if we do just do algebra, what I need to do is simplify this, right? So we're going to have to multiply this out. So we do that times that, that times that, this times this, this times that, right? So the result of this is going to be x cubed plus 2x squared minus x squared minus 2x. Okay? We can simplify this guy and this guy into just x squared. So we get x cubed minus, oops, plus x squared minus 2x. Okay? And then let's go ahead and let's take the derivative of this. So I'm going to use the ddx format. And we take the derivative of this. All we have to do is use chain rule on each individual segment, right? So we know the addition of each one of these, we can take the derivative of each individually. So I'll get 3x squared, that power rule, for this part. This guy is going to become plus 2x. And this guy is going to become minus 2. Okay. If you have questions on that, you can look at a previous video over uh, power rule and sum rule. So there's, there's our solution right here. So now let's go and let's try to use the product rule. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make, basically call, oh, let's use the wrong color there. I'm going to call f of x this first function over here. So call this one x minus 1. And we'll use red. And the second function, we'll call it the g of x. So that we're kind of matching the format of this guy. So g of x is equal to x squared plus 2x. So this one is g of x, and this other one, the x minus one is f of x, when we shove this guy into the uh, product rule. So just to be clear, e either one of these, you know, you could use the algebraic method, which just might be easier on this problem, but in future problems, you won't have the luxury of doing both. I'm just, I chose a problem so that we can actually see um, how this gets done. So. What we're going to do is we're going to take the f of x and the g of x and plug it into the, uh, the product rule, okay? So according to the product rule, we first, the derivative is going to equal f prime of x times g of x plus f of x times g prime of x. So you, 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 like I said earlier, you can remember this by saying the derivative of the first times the second 
plus the plus the first times the derivative of the second. Okay, so we go ahead and do this now. F prime, so F prime of x. This guy is just going to be one. The reason that is is by some rule, this by constant rule, the minus one goes away, and then the derivative of x is one. All right. The g of x part, we're just going to use the power rule again, and we get x squared becomes 2x plus 2 of x, which is 2. All right? And now we need to multiply these guys out. So take this. So we take the derivative of the first, which is 1, times the second, which is x squared plus 2x. plus the first, which is x minus 1, times the derivative of the second, which we have here, is 2x. Great, and now when we are, I'm going to go just to one color now. So after we multiply this out, we get x squared plus 2x plus, now we have to multiply these guys out again, the expansion. So we end up with 2x squared plus 2x minus 2x minus 2. And you can see these two guys cancel, plus 2x minus 2x. And then we can actually combine these guys. So combine these, we're going to get 3x squared. We still have this plus 2x, plus 2x, and a minus 2, a minus 2. And boom, there's our derivative solution. And you can see, when we compare these guys, we actually get the uh, their equivalent. So basically, we've shown that using algebra and the power rule over here is equivalent to this new uh, product rule. It may not be simpler in this case, but this does show that you get the same solution, and you will be using this product rule in the future. Thank you.